Hey everybody, Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with a little N scale update. It's N scale layout update number two. Um, as you can see, I have done a lot of track work recently, and there's also a brand new car that I would like to show you as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through the track progress on what we've done. Uh, first off, as you notice, the siding has been redone, it's been reconfigured. Uh, as I put down, um, some brand new straight track as well as the bumper was was reinstalled and this siding will actually hold six freight cars which is pretty good um i recently got some new straights and some more curves um that recently had come in i decided to unbox those off camera because i needed the track um to get some more of this done next you are not going to really notice a difference but the traditional curves all the traditional curves with the exception of the re-railer, have all been updated to the newest Easy Track. You're probably asking, why did you update it? Well, this was an older set in the beginning. This was probably probably the 70s or the 80s. So the so the standards back then are different than the ones now. So when you look at track, obviously you make sure it all joins up together. But sometimes if the the rail looks a little bit different or if it's just changed a little bit, you might want to start a rehabilitation or a rebuild program um, to give the track a good rehab, good rebuild. Uh, so it all joins up. Like all this flies, glides smoothly together, which is great. Um, the re-railer is going to be next to be replaced, but I'm not really pushing that at this moment. But, um, but really and truly uh, – a definitely a good um, a good safety point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the set and balance in the front with one hand. I'll show you the uh, the newest car that I have and it is on the track tonight. It's this bad boy coming around the curve. It is a Hercules High Fax Pro Fax hopper that is made by Atlas with a graffiti tag on one side. I thought it was pretty cool. I found this at my local train shop for um, uh, in the... Um, in the pre-owned section for um, a relatively good deal. And uh, the graffiti tag looks pretty cool. I like the way the guy's kind of like spitting out flames there for a second. And that looks pretty cool. Um, that is actually like a little decal. Because the older decal, he used to let them sit in water for like about a minute to activate the glue. Then you put it on there. Um, so I thought this car was kind of cool. So I picked this one up. And uh, I have a dozen cars on this train, as you can see. Pretty much everything else has been the same. Uh, so uh, the first half of the train, to go over the rolling stock, um, let, me, let me back up the train. I'll let you give everything else a good look. Obviously, the engine and the first box car are Bachman. And from here to here is Athern. From the Conrail Hopper all the way to the tanker is Atlas. Obviously, the Top Guns are Balma. And, of course, the NS Caboose is Bachman. So, thought I would go ahead and let it run around for just a couple of minutes. Let y'all watch the gates go up and down. And 3053 is doing the honors.
And as you all can hear, that 3053 is very quiet, and I'm very, very pleased with that. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise, which I'm very, very thankful for. And, I, and trains have really come a long way as far as the modern rider railroads go. Uh, they put in those little DC can motors now that don't make a lot of noise, which is great. But you can run this in, you know, late evening and, and nobody wakes up. Really glad they did this. And hopefully someday, maybe I'll build a table for this and have a little small engage layout and put this up on a real table. Uh, Hopefully that's going to be what the plan is here down the road. There are only three, there's only four pieces on that entire train that have metal wheels. Obviously the engine, the first two box cars, and the caboose. Everything else has plastic wheels. Well guys, that pretty much wraps it up for N-Scale layout update number two, as well as um, in scale hall number 11, I was able to kind of combine this a little bit and um, let 3053 run around the layout for a little bit. Uh, really glad to see the track progress really came together. Uh, I've been really working on that here for the really the past uh, day or so, of getting it planned out and just getting it up, up and ready to go. Uh, but really glad to see this little baby's pulling it like a champ. So I've got a dozen cars for that one and a dozen cars for the uh, Alco PA. And I'm um, really glad to see that this is coming along. So anyway, guys, I hope all of you enjoyed N-Scale um, Hall number 11, I believe is what it is, and also layout update number two. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I thank you guys so much for watching.